Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, the Black Shivers Nerd. I'm just getting in from work, and work was long, but I'm just getting in from work. I go on, I go on, not Facebook. I go on Twitter. First person I see on Twitter. Of course, when I go on Twitter, I had to go check out my boy, the director. Shout out to the director. And what do I see? When I see, when I when I go up on his on his Twitter feed. I see nothing but good news with the book with the director he see he quote tweeted via Adam Schefter the next first off shout out to the director if you guys are following him on Twitter or on YouTube yeah you guys got to do that check him out good solid dude good good dude but check this out the next QB domino falls charges and Justin Herbert reached an agreement today on a landmark five-year $262.5 million extension that ties him to the franchise through the 2029 season. Sources tell me in Lindsay theory deal gets done before Chargers Chargers is uh, first training camp practice on Wednesday. Yes! So this is huge. This is big. This is this is what we need to take care of. Hold on, let me see if I can find some more details on this. One second. Alright, so I had to go to ESPN on this one for more details. So it says $262.5 million deal, five years, Justin Herbert and the Chargers. It also says here that it includes a no trade clause. That's good. Uh, it is a $133.7 million in full guarantees and $193.7 million in injury guarantees. Yo, the brother got paid. Brother man got paid. Uh, it's a multi-year extension for the first franchise quarterback, but did not disclose specific terms. Uh, this makes him, he becomes the third quarterback this year to agree to a blockbuster extension following new deals between the Eagles and Jalen Hurts and the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Uh, this also makes uh, you know, said this also sets the playing field for the Cincinnati Bengals and star QB Joe Burrow, who remains in talks on an extension. Herbert's deal makes him the highest paid quarterback in NFL history based on average annual value, $52.5 million a year. That is a little over a million a year that this boy is getting. So this is big. This is huge well deserved for someone that has for the QB that is definitely I would say we are in good hands the Chargers is not the offense is in good hands with Justin Herbert you know behind the wheel uh we also especially now that we have Kellen Moore uh now uh as our offensive coordinator that's gonna help liberate Justin as opposed to what you know Joe Lombardi was doing with him and I am just I'm ecstatic you know because of the fact of you think of that receiving core that we have right now of course we got the situation going on with Austin Eckler you know I for one definitely believe that Austin Eckler should be getting paid what he's owed the man is a workhorse he's essentially as much as we have that receiving core of Keenan Allen Mike Williams you know, we also got Quentin Johnston, uh, and you know a few others in the in the uh, in the wide receiving room. But Austin Eckler is that offense. We know what we can do. We know we know how much of of a boost he brings to the offense when he's on the field and when he's not on the field. So we need to pay him what he's owed. Uh, let me see what it also says here. What's this link say? Uh, Chargers pay Justin Herbert uh, to and a half million dollars. Now the pressure is really on. Uh, one by one, Chargers players and even owner Dean Spanos drove past a small contingent, contingent of reporters and cameras to enter a gated parking lot at the team headquarters to report for this season Tuesday morning. But not quarter ju quarterback Justin Herbert. In a sleek, dark sports car, Herbert stopped well short of the gate to flip a U-turn. The fourth-year quarterback opted instead to park elsewhere and enter the building as discreetly as possible. Uh, however, after agreeing to a five-year extension, it's nearly certain Herbert won't be able to escape the attention much longer. That is true. Not a highest-paid player in NFL history, surpassing Hurts and Jackson, who signed... 
Um, all eyes will be on Herbert. He must prove after a record payday that he can turn eye-popping statistics into a significant playoff run and lead a stacked Chargers roster to a playoff to a Super Bowl. If I know one thing, our players, front office, coaches, and uh, we believe in him 100%. God, that was last last season. Uh, yeah, I totally agree that you know now the pressure is on him. You know, like again, he's like he. But it's not just on him, it's also on everyone on that team to back him up, you know. Like, yes, I know when when you are the quarterback of a team, you get the, the brunt end of the blame uh, when it comes to certain things. But you also get the, you know, put, we, 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 we. We gonna put this on on Herbie. We gonna we gonna go. On, we gonna put this on her. See, look at that. 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 Look at that handsome man. Look at that handsome man. You know, we just. You know, we just gonna go right here. But I definitely believe that the pressure is most definitely on Herbert. You know, as much as I love Herbert, as much as I love Justin, you know, but he is the man who is running this ship when it comes to the chargers you know like if if the team does good you know like if the team does good you know they're gonna praise him well most people are gonna praise him we do know that there are a couple people uh in the media that won't give him his flowers you know they have a show on fs1 you guys know like chargers fans know who i'm talking about but you know when they do good they gonna they gonna praise him but if they do bad they gonna bash him, especially those people on FS1. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's not like I said. This isn't just Herbert. Like, yeah, he got the big payday, and you know, he's gonna show up. He's gonna show up, and he's gonna show out. But we also need to stay healthy. This is the main thing, you know. As a Chargers fan, I can say is what grinds my gears is that we need to stay healthy. So. You know, we need to make sure that the med staff is doing their like, and the training staff is doing their due diligence to make sure that our boys are good, make sure they're healthy, you know, because I remember the uh, the report cards of like the training facilities of all the teams and, you know, like charges grade was not good. So we hopefully we we took the right steps to uh, make sure that that's that that grade is a little bit higher because we need to make sure that not just herbert but we need to make sure that everyone on the team is healthy because i truly believe that this team can you know this this team with this quarterback has a legit chance to make the playoff because we essentially brought back everyone from last year so we still have the same like the core the core members of the team from last year's playoff run is back. So you know they they're hungrier, they're hungrier, they're more they're more driven, they're more more they're more motivated to get back into the playoff picture again and a, and get a and go for a longer run in the playoffs and potentially make it to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. But me personally. We just need to get we just need to stay healthy and stay and stay the course and at least make the playoffs can we make the playoffs that and then once we make the playoffs you know like can we can we just get take it you know one game at a time you know like as you know as the late great marty schartenheimer used to say hey one play at a time one game at a time you know and i truly believe like i said with the pieces that we added in the offseason, with the fact that we were able to keep the core 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 and key players uh from last year's team and bring them back. You know, yeah, we, we lost a few people, but we were able to keep keep people that definitely helped out in the long run. You know what I mean? So uh yeah, I am all for it. I love it. Again, congratulations to Justin Herbert. You know, well overdue, well deserved, uh, and I'm, and now that training camp starts tomorrow, I'm excited. I'm, or, er, well, at the time of this recording, it's well midnight Wednesday, uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. 
I'm hype. Let's go. Boat gang, money gang, boat gang, money gang, boat gang, money gang. We in here, baby. But for my fellow Chargers fans, what do you guys think? What are you guys expecting? You know, like, I mean, hey, football season is about to start. You know, pre seat pre seat listen, training camp, wait, we start in training camp, so preseason is just right around the corner. Can you smell it? Can you smell it, babies? Football season is upon us. All right, y'all, until the next time, let's have the conversation. You know, and even if you're not a fan of the Chargers, if you're a fan of the NFL, you know, who's your team? Who are you rooting for? You know, let's have that conversation, you know, because we ain't having no bandwagoners this year. You know, we ain't going to be like, oh, no, I'm this team. And then you just going to dip and dive, dip and dive, dip and dive. No, 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 no. Who is your team this year? If you follow football, who is your team? American football. Who is your team? All right, y'all. Until the next time. Love, peace, bait, and grease. Catch y'all on the next one. Boat gang, money gang. And we yeah.